good morning and welcome back to the channel so i figured with it being december we could start working on christmas stuff so the first thing i started thinking about was journals well because i like to make journals so i found these i was looking for um i was actually looking for some wax thread for my newest book that i'm making and i'll show you guys once it's done um but uh, I found something even better. Anyway, I found these and I was like, ooh, pretty. Um, so I highly encourage everyone to just like try to find something in your craft room that you know you have but you haven't seen in a really long time because you're going to find a whole bunch of stuff that you didn't know you had. I guarantee it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a template real quick. Um, and I'm just going to use uh, cardstock. I think this one will probably be suffice. That's actually pretty perfect. Alright, so oh, I have some scraps over here. I might be able to use some of those. Hmm. Yeah, I might be able to use some of those. So that'll be nice. Alright, um, anyway, so I found these and I was like, ooh, I could so alter those. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I just want to make sure that this, in fact, is the right height. And it is. So, I am going to take my pencil and draw. Who doesn't like drawing? Oh, speaking of drawing, oh my gosh, my friend Melissa. She made the cutest sticker. Oh my, oh my, I, I don't even know what to say. Oh my goodness. So, um, hopefully, by now, uh, today is Tuesday the 1st. Well, for you guys, it's Tuesday the 1st. Um, and hopefully by now she will have it available to see um, and purchase but it is just the cutest little thing so you're gonna definitely have to go over there and uh, check it out I'm pretty sure she probably already has it up by now um, I just don't know how you um, how you purchase it because she, as of today she does not have an Etsy shop as of this moment in time so it looks like I'm gonna need to trim just ever so slightly off of here and then I should have a really nice template Whee. Oop. oh that's pretty perfect all right, now, there's a couple different ways we can do this. One, we can make a template. Two, oh yeah, by the way, I painted all these. And of course, I got it all over my hands. So, I wasn't done painting. I decided to go gloves. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, um, that's not Christmassy. I'm not sure that any of these are really Christmassy. Mm. No, not really. Okay. Next, we'll do a scrap day one day. I don't know. Um, I know Miss Gail does like scrappy Saturdays. That would be super cute and fun to try to do. But I don't have enough scraps for that, I don't think. Um, which leads me into my next... Uh, that's really cute. I think my knee's up. My next idea. So, I was watching YouTube the other day. So I like to watch YouTube. Um, I know. It's weird. But... Um, I was watching YouTube the other day and I saw the coolest thing. This lady was, um, doing a, like a weekly card challenge. And what it is, is her subscribers were, my pencil here, her subscribers send her, um, uh, materials to challenge her to create a card every week. Now, I think she does it every week. I think she might do it every day. I don't know. Uh, I've never seen her before. I just ran across this particular um, channel. Anyway, then I had someone approach me and ask me to do a collab with them. And I was like, sure, I'll do a collab with you. I don't mind. But she wanted to do the same one I just did. So I was like, um, let's do something different. So if you come up with something different, then let me know. Anyway, long story short, she's like, well, I'll just send you some materials. And I was like, all right, cool. 
So that got me thinking with conjunction with the video that I had saw last seen last week, plus her comment of I'll just send you something, I kind of thought to myself, I wonder, self, could I do a challenge of the week? And not to cards, but just in general, like generally speaking. So I want to present that to you guys. And if it is something that you feel like, you know what, I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter because I didn't make it straight for one. But for two, I can do the edges in pretty much anything. Anyway, so I figured, I'm not even in camera. Y'all should yell at me. Okay, so I figured it would be something really cool for you guys to um, basically send me an envelope, you know, with some stuff in it whether it's one sheet of paper that you're just like, I have no idea what to do with this, you know, gaudy paper, maybe you can figure it out type of thing. Or whether it's, hey, I think that this will be really challenging for you. Give it a whirl. You know, whatever the case may be, whatever you think is the reason why you want to send me whatever it is you want to send me. And I was thinking about doing exactly that. A challenge of the week. Now, obviously, I wouldn't start until I have my first envelope full of whatever. But what do you guys think about that? I think it would be so fun. And I'm not sure what I would do with the stuff yet. I was talking away and I was like, you know, maybe I could just send it back to them. I have no idea. No clue whatsoever what I'm going to do with other stuff that like you guys sent me. So I'm going to go with Fabri-Tac here because it won't warp my papers. Um, by the way, new glue bottle, Boop. this one's my dangle. I made that a long time ago, like a year and a half ago, long time ago. Uh, I don't know if it was quite that long, but anyway, what do you guys think about that? I think it would be so fun. Oh, and bonus points if you're the first one to send me an envelope. Some people already have my address because they used to buy from me on YouTube and I don't obviously sell on YouTube anymore. Um, but, um, if you don't have my address and you want to send me something, just shoot me uh, a message. Um, send me an email. My email is in the description box down there. Um, it is Becker, B as in boy, E, C, K, E, R, numbers 8603 at gmail.com. Um, so... Anyway, there, uh, there is an actual email down there that you can just copy and paste. So there is the cover of one. Whee! So pretty. All right, now I'm going to use the template to make another one. So basically you just see that it's pretty easy to just make or cover this thing up. It's not like rocket science or anything like that. Um, where did my pencil go? There it is. I don't know if I want to do it on this side. I'm going to do it on this side. I'm feeling risky. All right. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's a great idea. And obviously, if you have, like, a YouTube channel or anything like that, I would definitely... Do like a shout out because you're gonna like challenge me to something but yeah I mean that's like that's not a new concept honestly um, you know I just said it out loud when like youtubers get challenged like I challenge you to whatever that's not a new concept at all but I hadn't thought about doing it myself until well today so, you know, I wonder if I can just punch these out instead of trying to cut them, um, the corners, I mean. Whee! Alright, let's click you off of there. Where's my punchy punch thing? That's not it. That's not it. Where are you? Well, I guess I'm not going to be able to use it if I don't find it. So that is a very quick no. I cannot use my punchy punch thing. Oh, there it is. I found it. Bye. Alright, what does this look like to you? 
a one inch, a half an inch. Looks like a half an inch. Let's try that. Ooh. Snap. I think that's it. Wait, is that the wrong one? Or is that the one I just cut out? That's the one I just cut out, right? Oh, we got to do them. Okay. Well, this can be another cover because I don't want to cover up Santa. All right. Oh, yep. That's perfect. Whoop, whoop. Okay. So, yeah, we're not going to cover up Santa. So, we got to flip it over and do the other side. Unless, of course, we want the checkered on the back, which isn't bad, but it's a really cute paper. Oh, this one's Simple Stories by uh, somebody. Um, no, Simple Stories is the somebody. It's called Country Christmas. The Simple Stories is the brand, if you will. But anyway, I'm super excited. I can't wait for you guys to, like, start challenging me for, with things. But make sure if you challenge me to something, um, you need to give you need to like supply the materials because I don't think I will be able to just be like challenged with a whole bunch of stuff and then you know buy all the materials myself because could you imagine doing that that would be kind of crazy all right so we need this to be on this side yes okay we need this to be on this side I like the stencil. It works. Whee. Oh, speaking of stencil, I have a question for you guys. Um, I, I have looked everywhere I know how to look. You guys know how I am with copyright. Um, I have definitely done my fair share, my fair share of homework, um, this, that, and another, and whatnot. But I am stumped with something. If I use a stencil, say symbol, and I create something with that stencil, like as in it is completely different now, am I allowed to scan my artwork into the computer and sell a digital copy of that artwork? because I used someone else's artwork as a base point. But ultimately, what is being scanned is my artwork. So, if you happen to know an answer to that question, pop me a message in the description box, it'd be great. Uh, and any kind of link to your like resources, that would be very much appreciated so I know you know where your information is coming from but yeah I'm curious about that very curious Oops. all right what are we at 13 minutes all right well we might actually be able to get one done now that I have the right one all right so let's put that there like that and the insides don't really need to be covered although they can be and you could also cut these like multiples at a time if you wanted to um, and you know I should just measure this because it'll probably be easier than trying to cut it like this every time. I think I'm going to do that. All right. Bloop. All right. There's that and that. There we go. And if you are off at all, you can trim it up, which I think is where I am. Cool beans. All right, so there's one little cute little book. Uh, I'm going to add 
a little something something right here. Um, got some extra ribbon here. Just gonna put that right on the spine here. Bloop. Uh, after I make a straight cut. Um, which should be interesting in ribbon that does not stay still. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, it's fine. Don't stay still. All right. Stay. And I'm just going to put it on the side here, or on the spine here, because when I squish it, it'll squish over to the side. I'm just kind of helping it along by dragging the ribbon through the glue. Alright, and then I'm going to cut this part here. And normally I would say, you know, I'll light it on fire to keep it from fring, uh, fraying or whatever. Do not do that if you're using Fabri-Tac. fabri is very flammable. It is made with acetone. I'm just going to rub off the extra glue here. All right. There we go. Hey, look at that! Isn't it so cute? Oh, it is so cute. All right, so let's see if we can't measure it and do a measurement like that. So this is well, slightly uh, three and a quarter by. Four and a half. All right. So let's see what we can see. All right. Move that. And we've got this little piece here. I'm just going to make this line straight. Bloop. Like a so. All right. Three and a half is the long side. No. Four and a half is the long side. Well, I just almost rammed that page completely. Four and a half. And now we do three and a half. All right. So no, three and a quarter. Boop. Three and a quarter right there. One. Three and a quarter. Boom. Right there. Two. Another three and a quarter. Boom. Right there. All right. So we have three pieces here. We have enough to cover one and then do the back of the other one. All right, so this is really cute. I like that one. A Merry Christmas, a Merry Christmas. Oh, is that, aren't these all so cute? Okay, so let's do this one here. So we're gonna, we're gonna corner, we're gonna corner, we're gonna corner the corners. We're gonna round the corners on this side of this one and put that right there. Boop. And the reason that I painted these first is because I had anticipated doing some, like, um, <clears throat> what's it called, rice paper. Um, but then I saw all these papers that I had pulled out, and I was like, ooh, pretty. So I started playing with the papers instead. All right, so we're just going to line that up right there. And boom. Voila. And these are super easy, cute little gifts that you can give to anyone who likes writing stuff down because, I mean, it's just a regular notebook, but it is altered to be Christmassy. So here is another one here. So we're going to do it. I want to put this one on the front, I think. Yeah, we'll put this one on the front and this one on the back. So, 
going to put them um, wrong sides together, put them together, and punch both of the corners at the same time. And I don't know about you guys, but that was absolutely significantly faster than trying to make a template and cut it out. So measurement is not always a bad thing. Sometimes measuring will make your life easier. Just saying. I know a lot of people despise measuring. I'm one of those people, normally, but sometimes it will make your life easier. All right, and we're gonna do this one. Whee! All right, so, I haven't heard from you guys about whether or not you like the shorter videos yet. But then again, to be fair, I only have one video in front of this one that is not the 20 minute challenge. That is around the 20 minute mark. So, I'm going to give it a couple more days while recording these 20-ish minute videos and let you guys comment on whether or not you like to keep the 20 minutes or if you like them better when they're 30, 45 minutes long. So, in the 20 minutes, we managed to alter three notebooks. And they're all different, and they're all super cute. One sheet of paper, three notebooks, altered. Super easy. Anyone can do it. Um, I really hope you guys learned something in this particular video. And I will catch you guys all later. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.